Shut up and sit down.
right. Happy Saturday. Hello, Sam. How are you? How is your Saturday going? Um, it's a bit cloudy. It looks like it's going to storm here, um, which is kind of exciting. I hope it does because I love storms um, if I'm not out in them and I can just watch them. <laughs> um, but we are continuing last train to Blue Moon Canyon today. Um, oh, hello, Luna. Welcome. The very start of the stream. Um, did I make myself notes last time as to where I was? I did not. I did not. How dare you, past self. Um, well, let's square duck. Let's find out uh, where we were. We don't have a checklist, so that's unfortunate. Um... Oh, we have some gemstones. I don't think we have all of them. <laughs> Luna, you hear that? Auntie Sam misses you. I mean, when in doubt, talk Nancy, to people, you right? you missed it. Missed what? The argument of the century. Joe, he's exaggerating. Aw, oh, come on, you heard him. They were ready to tear each other to shreds. Who? Charlena and Lori. All Hello. we heard was the tail end of it, and Come unfortunately, here. we really couldn't make out what they were saying. No. So, you don't know what they were arguing about? No. But whatever it was, both of them were absolutely out of their minds. Living. Who was yelling at each other? It would be a good idea to find out why. Let me look into it. I'll talk to you later, okay? You know where to find us. Uh. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I think it was Charlena and John Gray. More questions? If I remember. Oh, Lori. Her and Lori. Um. Do you have a theory I don't know if I want to ask that yet. Emergency break? Well, I know I have it wasn't this, like, me. I assume it wasn't you. Itchy spot on my back. It was Lori. So that leaves those two friends of yours. Away. Mr. Gray and Mr. Balducci. Okay. What do you think their motive was? I don't know about your friends, but perhaps those other two simply thought it would be fun. Boys will be boys. Uh, uh. Ooh, do we want to show her the letter? Let's ask what, what they were, were arguing you and Lori about. Arguing about earlier today. I don't know if Lori I want to show I? her the letter. We weren't arguing. We were simply discussing a topic about which both of us are passionate. That's all. Um, you weren't angry? No. And even if we were, that's really none of your business. True. I know that sounds harsh, but oh my really, goodness, Nancy, my eyelashes eavesdropping is so sticking together. tacky. Actually, it was Frank and Joe Hardy who overheard you. They said I should talk to you before they gave me all the gory details, but since you obviously don't want to tell me your side of the story, I'll just have to get the scoop from them. The scoop? No, no you don't have to do that. <laughs> A storyline that Lori submitted to me found its way into my last book, despite the fact that she never received compensation for it. Oh. She's reading the book now, and when she got to that part, she freaked. She freaked. Well, I would too. And that's what you were arguing about? Yes. Now, legally, she can't prove anything, and I'm certainly not about to admit anything. And it's she not as if she needs money. She must have sent her ideas somehow, but though. There's got to we be some kind of proof. About. For what it's worth, I'm going to talk to this producer I know to see if he'll cast Lori in his next movie. It'll help ease my conscience, and who knows? She could wind up being a star. I mean, she is blonde. Wow. I do not like this, um, Miss Charlena Purcell. She seemed cool in Shadow Ranch, but... Oh, I don't know if I want to show her. I don't like her. <laughs> do we want to show her the letter? I don't remember what the letter said. It had a lot of information in it, though. Like, all the answers. I'm not going to tell her. Well, I'll let you go. My publisher, thanks. <laughs> I'm not going to tell her. All right. 
Is it just always nighttime? Is this just forever night? We still haven't gotten the, um, the code for that to open that grate. But let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, we still have to play the piano, but he won't let us. Hey, glad you stopped in. You gotta listen to this. What have you got? I put this digital recorder in the corner where Camille showed up in that picture and turned it on so it would just keep recording. Now when you play it back at normal volume, all you hear is background noise. But when you turn the volume way up and run the signal through a filter or two... Hear that? Kind of, sort of. It kind of sounds like a woman singing. Not just it did anything. not sound like a woman oh, singing, yeah. Nancy. So be careful what you say in here. She's listening. <laughs> She's listening. So creepy. A thermometer. We found a thermometer. I saw a bunch of weird glowing lights outside the window of the sleeping car. Really? Actually, I'm not surprised. Charlena said Jake Hurley used to see them too. Only he attributed them to his dead wife, Camille. Why would you say They're it like that? probably some form of piezoelectricity. See, my guess is quartz crystals in the ground are being compressed as the train passes over them. And the resulting voltage, called piezoelectricity, is manifesting itself as glowing lights. Probably because of some quirk in the train shape or in the composition of the metals used in its construction. It was custom built, remember. <laughs> Whatever it's called, it was unnerving to see. Whatever it is. Take it from me. Old Mother Nature was capable of some pretty scary stuff. Oh, I'm sure. Are you by any chance missing a small digital thermometer? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. When I went through the box I packed them in, that one over there, I came up one short. I was hoping to set up at least six in here so I could check for cold spots. How did you oh, know I was missing cold one? cold spots Because Tino ghosts. Balducci found it by the emergency brake handle when he was dusting it for fingerprints. And now he thinks you're the one who pulled it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't have any reason to pull the emergency brake. I don't know, you sound a little defensive there. This show is in danger of being canceled. Have you been in this room the whole time you've been on the train? Of course not. I made a couple of trips to my compartment in the sleeping car to get more equipment. But did I get an overpowering urge to pull the emergency brake while I was there? No. <laughs> Any truth to the rumor that your show is about to be canceled? Newsflash, my show was canceled happened last night, Aww. but what nobody knows yet is that it's been picked up by a major TV network. Not only am I still on the air, but I'm sitting prettier than ever. Any other questions? I'll let you get back to work. Take care. You like him because he's a ghost hunter, but you don't trust anyone on this train except the Hardys? Yeah, me too. Me too. He seems okay, but I still don't trust him. Oh, I still want to play that lizard game in Tino's car. Do we get to play that yet? I don't know where Luna went. And I can't see her. So that makes me nervous. What do you have to uh, say? I can't stay mad at a Nothing. fellow detective. What do you need? He was mad at us. Help. Not a problem. Okay. We still have to get that gem. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. Oh. Um, and then that one will make five. And I think we need six? I wrote down which ones we needed. Yeah, and I don't think we can play that um, until we're, like, triggered to. Okay. Maybe we need to talk to Lori uh, about the book thing. Because I don't think there's anything else we can do in this room yet. Although I've said that before. Alright, what do you have to yes? say? Nothing? 
Nothing. I guess I better get to work. We can't as even soon as ask you figure her it about out, it? let me know. The lights. That made me feel better or just dumber. Uh. Should we call Babs? Yeah, I don't know what that is. And we already did the dolls. So we can't do anything else with them. I don't think there's anything else in this room. Because we already did this. And we already put that in. There's nothing else in here. Or does that have the same... I think it has the same... Pattern. Or design. Okay. Now what? We still have to find another gemstone. We still need the axe, which we can't get yet. And the lantern. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so we could possibly get the bell. Have we seen the bell yet? What does the bell have to be? The bell has to be 12. Um, not that that really means anything to me because I never understood this puzzle. Can you... We're at 12. I just do this until something works. So I'm sorry. Oh. So close. Three? No. I don't know what I've tried already. I feel like we were closer with the eight over here, maybe. It has to be twelve, right? I don't understand this puzzle. <laughs> so 16 minus 5 is 11. So what would make 12? tried everything? I feel like I've tried everything. Twenty one. Twenty one minus what is twelve? 
Nein. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. That's just three either way. What? Do I not have all the pieces? No, because it, it would have to be five. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> what? Maybe we just need a different number still. Maybe we don't have the correct numbers. What was that? Um, we need to get to Copper Gorge. When do we get to Copper Gorge? Nope, not doing that again. We already took the goat's eye, the gem. More questions. We need to talk to, maybe we need Would to tell like her Would you like to see this. the letter that Lori gave me as a reward for finding her? The one in which Jake Hurley supposedly tells his niece how to find his lost mine? No, thank you. Oh. I happily leave it to you she to try to solve see the mystery okay. of his disappearance. You can afford to look foolish, dear. I can't. Oh. Aren't you even going to try finding out what happened to Jake Hurley? No time. The only reason I haven't insisted that Lori release me from all the silliness is there's always the possibility that what happened to him has the makings of a bestseller. Although I highly doubt it. She only cares about her book. Why are you so sure that Jake's story wouldn't make a bestseller? His story is an all too common one. A man wanders off into the desert in search of gold and never returns. Why? He either doesn't have enough food or water, or he encounters hostile natives. But why was his train found out in the middle of nowhere with just the dead engineer on board? So creepy that when you say it like that, That does make the story a little more interesting. My guess is the engineer got tired of waiting for Jake to return, took off in the train to get help, and died of a heart attack along the way. After which, the train rolled to a stop in Blue Moon Canyon. Anyone experienced enough to single-handedly run a steam engine would have been quite a bit older than Jake. What do you think happened to Camille? She probably died of something mundane, like pneumonia or even measles. Now, if it was wintertime when she died, and they were in the mountains, Jake no doubt kept her body on the train for months before he buried her, which is rather delicious in a morbid sort of way. Ew! I should get going. My publisher thanks you. Ew, she's so weird! <laughs> Hey, how's it going? I think I know the name of Jake Hurley's engineer. James Thurston. Great! What else do you know about him? Well, nothing. <laughs> Good. Good? Yeah, finding out more about him will give us something to do. We'll look into it. Okay. Tino found one of John Gray's thermometers by the emergency brake handle and is getting ready to throw the book at it. Delicious. <laughs> John Gray threw the emergency brake? Why would he do that? Wait, did he? Tino thinks it's because John's TV show is in danger of being canceled. But when I asked John, he told me his show was just picked up by a broadcast network. I still say there's less to all this than meets the eye, if you get my drift. Somebody's lying. I get your lying. drift, Joe. I have lived with your drift for years. <laughs> I am saddled with your drift. All right, all right. <laughs> See you soon. You better. You betcha. Okay. So what does that give us? We got to talk to people. So progress. 
engineer. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. I talked to you before, very briefly. You're not the one who pulled the emergency brake, are you? <laughs> no. Good, because if you were, I'd have to come back there and throttle you. Old as this train is, it's a wonder it stayed on the tracks. Is there any way that brake could have been activated accidentally? You pull on the handle, the wheels lock. You don't pull on the handle, they don't lock. Did somebody pull on the handle by mistake? I guess it's possible, but if you ask me, anybody that stupid has no business being on a train. Or anywhere <laughs> else for that matter. Now, if you don't mind, I gotta get back to work. <laughs> I like this guy. We haven't done all the pipes yet, so we can't do that. We've already looked at this. That's where we found James Thurston. Um, what was the bell? Did we do the eagle yet? No. What is that sound? Is that just her? I know he'll tell us when we can. Um, I don't think we need this again right now. What's up? I'll let you get back to work. Pleasure talking to you. Okay. When do we get to Copper Gorge? Uh. <laughs> that just sounded so whiny. I'm so sorry. What's going on? It's been great talking to you. Don't mention it. Okay. We already took that. Oh. We still can't take that. Are we supposed to look in this again? No. Um, is there something in here that we can do? We still need another gem. We did the dance. Four words in her grave, but that's when we get to Copper Gorge. Yeah, I feel like we really just need to get to Copper Gorge. Because what else can we do right now? We could still call Bess. Yes? Guess okay. I'd better get to work. Keep me posted! Where does she go? Like, just, why doesn't she come back with the group now? She's just like, nah, I kind of like it by myself. Maybe we need to talk to Frank and Joe again. See if they found out that information. Hey, how's it going? Were you able to find anything out about Jake's engineer? That James Thurston guy? Good news and bad news. Okay. The good news is he had a wife in Copper Gorge, so he may have had children. The bad news is our internet service provider stopped providing before we could use our cell phones to find out anything else. <laughs> That's okay. We can do more checking when we get to Copper Gorge. Right. And when will that be? Right now? Great. Perfect.
All right. So we have the train, museum, and cemetery. Let's go to the cemetery first. Yes? <gasps> you startled me. Oh, goodness. Do you work here? I do. Are you looking for someone? Uh, yes. Camille Hurley. She died back in the 1800s. Ah, Camille. Beautiful crypt. Wonderful view. Good drainage. Whoever buried her must have loved her very much. May I go inside it? You may, but unfortunately you can't. Why not? I accidentally dropped the key down the grate that's in front of the crypt. If you can retrieve it, you can keep it. I'm having another one made. But if you do go into the crypt, just remember, you won't be alone. I almost wish I could play this one at night. You stopped playing shortly after we got here. Okay. Nice. Well, there's the key. All right. I'll never get that key at this rate. Um, can we use the pencil? I'll never get that key at this rate. Do we have something sticky? We need... Just like in, um... Which one? The final scene. Uh, where we had to use our magic wand. So let's go to the museum. Uh, with gum on it. <laughs> okay, Copper Gorge Museum and Taffy Shop. Hey Taffy there. Sticky. Welcome to Mule's Old Time Taffy House. Come on over here. Welcome, stranger. Listen, you by any chance get here on that private train what's parked out yonder? As a matter of fact, yes I did. There's Great a rumor character. going around that Charlena Purcell's on board. Is that true? As a yeah, matter of she's fact, the worst. yes it is. Dang, if that don't beat all. I've read every single book that gal's ever written. Best writer whatever lived. Did she get off the train too? I don't think so. She's pretty busy. Charlena Purcell herself right here in Copper Gorge. Breathing the same air as me. Hot dang. Well, welcome little missy. Careful, Go she could have COVID. Go on in take a gander at what life was like during the heyday of Copper Gorge whilst you sample some of our delicious homemade saltwater taffy. Ooh, so this is some kind of museum? Why, it's the best kind of museum, <laughs> sister. It's free. You can gape and gawk and ooh and ah to your heart's content. At least you can till I close up. Where'd all this stuff come from? Been in the family for years. For centuries, in fact. See, Buell was my great-great-uncle. This building used to be his general store. During the glory days back in the 1880s, he commenced a pawn brokering. So the miners Copper Gorge was crawling with back then could raise some cash to pay for grub and tools and such. But pretty soon, the mining boom went bust. And there was Uncle Butte, stuck with a whole store full of junk. Aww. Only it wasn't junk to him. Debris from lost lives and broken dreams, what he called it. Couldn't bring Aww. himself to get rid of it. So, passed it on to his kin. My great granddaddy's the one who come up with the idea of turning the place into a tourist attraction. Oh my goodness. And you make money by selling taffy? Tourists just love taffy. <laughs> Especially when you dangle a free sample in front of them to get them hooked. Of course, it ain't really free. Some taffy on a stick will cost you two tokens. Which you can get by winning both those games over there. Ooh, we have to play a game. How much does it cost to play them? Well, ain't you the little penny pincher. Back <laughs> to the matter is, they're free. Unless you go messing with the artifacts I got in here. Do that and you'll be head first in the nearest snowdrift before you know what hit you. <laughs> Do you by any chance have any of Jake Hurley's things in here? Jake who? Hurley. He was a miner. I think he may have left a lamp and a pickaxe with your great-great-uncle. Never heard of him. Of course, that don't mean his stuff's not here. Just means you're just gonna have to look around and see for yourself. But remember, Susie Q, don't touch. It was fun talking to you. Okay. I'll bet it was. Don't touch. So we need to win. Looks like to get some taffy on a stick, I'm going to need two different tokens. A horseshoe token and a... a Simba token. Gold Rush. Oh, this game. So we want the yellow guys. 
not the purple guys. We're winning. Uh oh. I spoke too soon. Uh oh. <laughs> this is just like luck. We won. Good. All right, so we just need the horseshoe token. Nice. Oh, this must be the horseshoe token. Okay. All right, so which one do we bet on? What color do we bet on? Bet on it, bet on it. I'm thinking yellow. Let's try yellow. Come on, yellow. Oh. Okay. This Loser. one is also luck. <laughs> There's no strategy to these games. Um, maybe green? I like green. Come on, green! <gasps> yes! Awesome. Okay, so we just got our taffy, but let's continue looking around. Okay, so that's out. Can I... No. I cannot. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Oh. No, wait. This looks just like the insignia I saw on the train. I'll bet this was Jake's trunk. Yeah. Um, but we don't want to touch it. I bet that fits in here, but we can't touch um, according to... Did she tell us her name? Taffy. Taffy. All right, one of those, and one of those, and we got our taffy. Awesome. You still here? <laughs> Do you know what's in you that still old here? trunk over there? What? You ain't been fooling with it, have you? Oh no, of course not. No, I just thought it might contain the lamp and pickaxe that I asked you about before. Well, if it does, you can forget about them, cause it's locked. It's None locked. of my kin have ever been able to figure out how to open it. Not even my cousin Alvin. And he went to junior college. And he went to junior college. So it's never been opened? Not since whoever owned it left it here. I'd really like to see what's inside it. Well, now, I certainly ain't gonna let you break it open if that's what you're getting at. Oh, no, I would never no. use force, believe me. But in order to try to get it open, I would have to, you know, touch it. Nope, sorry, not gonna happen, little missy. Unless... Unless? Tell you what, you get Charlene and Purcell to come in here so's I can shake her hand, and I'll let you fiddle with that trunk till the cows come home. But Charlena is very busy. What if she won't come? Then I guess you'll just be out of luck. No, actually, you will be. Now, how do you figure that? Well, if you were to just meet her, you'd have nothing to show for it. Afterwards, she'd go her way and you go yours, and that would be it. But if you were to, say, get her autograph, well, then you'd have something to hang on the wall and brag about. Okay, make it so I can meet her and get her autograph. <laughs> oh, but the thing is, she's her on the autograph. deadline, and if you take her away from her writing, she may fall behind. And if she falls behind, her publisher may pull the plug. And if her publisher pulls the plug, it could ruin her career. Do you really want to risk that ruining quickly. Purcell's career? Good heavens, of course not. All right, you just <laughs> get me Charlene's autograph, and you got a deal. Just make sure she uses my name. I want it real personal like. You bet. And your name is... Fatima. Fatima. None of that weirdo PH stuff. 
Okay, Fatima, I'll be right back. Great. Look at her. Just hanging out. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that's not, that's not out. How do we leave? All right, so back to the cemetery. Uh, we have to, oh, okay. It's Fatima with an F. None of that fancy PH stuff. There's no way gotcha. that key fit through that hole. All right. Remember, you won't be alone. Oh. In the letter he wrote to his niece, oh. Jake said she should go to Camille's grave and let Camille's goodness rub off on her. Rub as in rubbing, maybe? Maybe making a rubbing would help. I have a pencil. I don't have paper though. If there's a hidden message here, I'll never find it. All at right, this Nancy. <laughs> Copper. Okay. So. We have to find out what copper is. Oh. PB. That's lead. Copper. See you. All right. So copper. Oh my gosh. I'm blind. Hello, Zybertech. Welcome. It's <laughs> Sorry. I did not see the... Um, that you came in, but welcome. I actually need to get new glasses. <laughs> All right, copper, green, red, purple, yellow, orange, blue. You know what today feels like? Today feels like it's gonna be one of those days where you just wanna like cozy up and like watch a movie or something. That's what today feels like it's gonna be. Especially if it rains. All right, so we need some paper to do a rubbing. Um, not sure how we're gonna find paper. Maybe Charlena has some? She's using her computer though. We need to get her autograph. More questions. I met a huge fan of yours in town who'd really, Way really like an autograph. Nance. An autograph picture would be even better. Imagine that. Me having fans way out here in the boonies. The boonies. Well, I'm sure I have a picture around here somewhere. But what I don't have is a pen. Usually I just ask my assistant for one. Her assistant. I have a pencil here somewhere. A pencil won't do, dear. It has to be ink. It has to be See if ink. you can borrow a pen from somebody. Okay. Oh my god, they're gone. Um, okay. Who has a pen? I know who has a pen. But let's ask everyone. What's up? I really, Sup. really need a pen. Could I borrow one from you? Sorry. I won't Sorry. keep you any longer. Take care. <laughs> Okay, you too. Tino, Tino, help What's me out. What's going on? Help me Do out. Do you by any chance have a pen I could borrow? Why, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that every detective should carry a pen? Actually, I carry a pencil. crumbs on me? Well, as it happens, I got lots of pens. I'll tell you what. If you can play that leap and lizards yes, game, I found we get to play the lizard game. I did when I played it, which shouldn't be that hard, seeing as how smart you are. I'll give you a pen. What do you say? Sounds this good to me. This is like my favorite okay. part of this the game. The object of the game <laughs> is to get rid of as many lizards game. as you can by jumping them with other lizards until you can't jump anymore. 
Last time I played, I oh, wound up raining. with just five lizards. If you can wind up with only four, the pen's yours. Okay. You lost. So close. Guess you're not so smart after all. Try again. Always. Well, sure. All right. I don't know what I did last time. <laughs> That's the problem with these uh, games. that corner out. We don't like those corners. Um, how can we get one here? By this. Nailed it. Luck. Here's your pen. <laughs> He's so what upset about it. You? You've been a big help. He's so upset Helping about it. what I'm all about. All right. Let's go give Charlena the pen. Have you found a pen so I can autograph yes, that picture? I, I got it have. from Tino. You can keep it. If you could have it say to Fatima, that'd be great. There you go. Anything else? I'll let you get back to your writing. That would be nice. Okay. Um we still need paper though. Nancy. Oh. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking for you. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break? Hey, that was the result of good old-fashioned detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Well, it turns out that a grandchild of Jake's engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner, comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. And you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. The thing <laughs> is, you. the owner of the diner wouldn't agree to point the guy out unless one of us fills in for a short order cook. He's got to go home and wait for the cable guy or something. And since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, guess who got the job? Oh. Way to go, Frank. Oh, and get this. Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's mine is somewhere right here in Copper Gorge, so he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even as we speak. Like that bumblebrain's gonna find anything. 
Sounds like now might be a good time to do some serious poking around on the train. Good thought. Hey, I better get going. Wish me luck. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. I would also insist to stop for a cheeseburger. Got that autograph? Got something better. An autographed picture. Hot dang! She spelled my name right and everything. <laughs> go ahead, little missy. Have a go with that trunk. Whatever's inside it's all yours. Okay. What fits here? Oh, I didn't write down what lead was. I'm the worst. There we go. What? What was that? Okay. So let is red, green, blue. Orange, yellow, purple. Okay. Any others? No. Great. Um, did we try this one yet? Hmm, this indentation looks familiar. Sidetracked. Okay, so copper, green, red, purple. Yellow, orange, blue. That's so creepy, though. Okay. Um, back here. And we also have to snoop the train. Okay. Red, green, blue. Orange, yellow, purple. Orange, yellow, purple. Well, here's Jake's lamp. Another slug. Could come in handy. Could definitely but come in handy. where's his pickaxe? Oh, no. Did we see everything in here? Why do I feel like there's like more to the museum? Or am I thinking of a different one? Welcome back. Have you by any chance ever come across a pickaxe that had the initials JH carved into it? Wow. Because it used to belong to Jake Hurley and I really, really need it. I thought it would be in that old trunk, but it wasn't. You got that trunk open? <laughs> Wait till I tell Cousin Alvin. <laughs> he thinks he's so smart. As for that pickaxe, so happens I got it upstairs in my kitchen. Use a dope and the coconuts Aunt Lucy sends me every year from Hawaii. Coconuts. Do you think I could have it? Why, no, you can't have it. <laughs> How would I open them coconuts? Hey, I could have just gotten you Charlena's autograph, but instead I got you an autographed picture, mm, which is way better. You owe me. Oh, okay, I'll let you have the pickaxe. After you do something for me. Like what? I got a bunch of taffy over there what needs sort. Just follow the directions okay. that are posted by the machine. Them belts get moving pretty fast, so you gotta keep your wits about you. While you're doing that, I'll fetch that pickaxe. You got a deal. Alright. In here. Uh-oh. Wax paper for the taffy. Would you mind if I took a piece of wax paper? Yes, I could let oh. you. Oh. For the rubbing. 
Okay. That looks very strange. Okay, so taffy flavors. Banana, mango, strawberry, apple, blueberry, grape, and rejects. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be like, I love Lucy. All right, green is apple. Oh my God. Mango, mango, mango. What is that, a reject? Or is that red? Oh shoot. Uh, apple, strawberry, banana, apple, that's a reject. Blue, this isn't too bad. I hope it doesn't get faster though. Reject. Rip colorblind people. Oh. Uh, strawberry. Reject. We did it. We did it. We did it. I did it. Okay. We did it. Got that taffy sorted? No problem. That was, that easy. was easy. You sneak any freebies while you were at it? It was pretty tempting, but nope, I sure didn't. Well, ain't you the goody two shoes? <laughs> Truth is, wouldn't have minded too much if you had, long as you fessed up to it. Here's Aww. the pickaxe. Crack the handle pretty bad on the last batch of coconuts. <laughs> you sure you want it? Positive. There you go. Don't hurt yourself. I won't. Thank you. Thank you. What can I say? Hello? Except hey, it's you're Frank. Welcome. I'm in the kitchen of the diner. We get to cook. cook. Has that grandchild of Jake's engineer showed up yet? Just came in with this lady who's even older than he is. And get this. He's a retired miner, so every time I finish an order and ring the pickup bell, he thinks it's the mine shaft elevator bell. And for some reason, it makes him start telling his lady friend about his grandfather. You mean you ring the bell and he starts talking about James Thurston? Exactly. Of course, five seconds later, he's rambling on you about something You were just thinking totally that. My stepdad couldn't be able to play. I just oh. order, ring the bell, and ding, he picks up right where he left off. That is, unless I fill the order wrong and the waitress chews me out. She's got a voice like a chainsaw. Very distracting. <laughs> Sounds like you better keep your ears open and your nose to the grindstone. Okay. I am. Let's Just make some orders. Well, good luck. Thanks. Talk to you soon. All right. Order number one, volcano burger. Onions, jalapenos, hot mustard, bacon, cheese. Onions. Jalapenos. Hot mustard, bacon, cheese. Hot mustard, bacon? Where's the bacon? Oh, bacon, cheese. That actually sounds pretty good. Is that it? That's it. For flow. Oh, that's the server. Did All right, you know what's what next? You order yet, Edna? Classic Hello. burger. Lettuce, tomato, <laughs> lettuce, lettuce, tomatoes. A private train owned by one of the richest men that ever passed Pickles, mayo, ketchup. Orange. Jake Hurley was his name. Yes, sir, my granddaddy was Jake's private engineer for more than 25 years. Told my daddy that men don't come any crazier than Jake Hurley, or any nicer. Treated my granddaddy real well and told him stuff. Real important stuff. Stuff he made my granddaddy swear to never ever forget. Stuff that my granddaddy told my daddy, and that my daddy told me. Why don't you get the egg salad, Edna? Eggs are back to being good for you, you know. Seems like, yes, sure, Jake Curley told my granddaddy. All right, avocado, tomato. Living soul. Not even his wife. I tell you about her, Edna. I know. Fruit, jelly, pineapple. Camille was her name. Camille Boulet. That's French, you know. Of course, Jeez, she died so man, young that, that poor really didn't have time to tell her anything. According to my granddaddy, one summer day she had a dizzy spell and fell and hit her head. Oh. She didn't take well to the heat, see? And sometimes in the summer, when they were going through the desert, why, that train would be just like an oven. Anyway, 
Granddad said she got right up afterwards and seemed okay. But a couple hours later, Jake found her in her room, dead as a doornail. Now there's another expression that kind of makes you wonder. Dead as a doornail? Uh, How can something be dead if it was never alive to begin with? And why a doornail? Why not something else that begins with a D? Right? <sighs> the way my granddaddy died, that was kind of strange too. Colossal I burger. My Everything died. minus the no, peas. Pickles, my peanut butter, pineapple, pickled herring. Find a okay. Telling his mom Lettuce. His granddad been found dead in Tomatoes. Blue Canyon, Nevada. Onion. He was in the engine Cheese. Of no train, pickles. Kind of slumped over. Mustard. Still on the throttle. Bacon. The strange thing is, Ketchup. Nobody else was on board the train. Yet Hot the door mustard. to the engine was locked Jalapenos. and barred. It was like Granddad Avocado. was trying to keep someone out. Like he was running Jelly. from something. Like something finally scared him so bad, his heart just stopped. Of course, he was in his 60s at the time. And back then, that was old. <laughs> Doesn't seem so old now, does it? And I ever tell you about the mine my granddaddy said Jake Chef's choice. Found? All right. You like this one, but the amount of controversies in it? What's a, what does that mean? I don't think I've ever heard that word. Himself, so no one would steal All right, so what murder. would I want on my burger? I would want lettuce. What do you do? Is have granddad Onions. drive the train real slow Pickles. so he could jump off without granddad Bacon. seeing him. Then granddad would pick him up at a prearranged spot a few days later. Oh, they didn't Avocado call him crazy J. Curry and for nothing. Cheese. Speaking of crazy, you see how much Abner's charging for a haircut at that shop? But the craziest thing Curry <laughs> ever did was tell granddad the secret to finding oh, his it. mind. This is he it. him swear to tell it to my daddy and nobody else. Eventually, my daddy, he told me. And it was so bizarre that I remember it to this day. Though I sure don't understand Can how it, it helped anybody find his mind. But since my daddy didn't tell me not to tell anybody, this is what crazy Jake Hurley told Granddad, word for word. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Peridot rests at the foot of the mare. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Peridot rests at the foot of the mare. Frank, are you sure that's what he said? I'm positive. I wasn't done yet. <laughs> Are you sure that's all he said? Basically Look, something convenient no matter how okay? unlikely I mean, it's we're the talking oh, okay. Jurassic. And guys that old don't joke around. They don't have time to. What you just heard is what I heard, word for word. Got anything else? I almost forgot. You gotta check this out. It's just an old letter, Frank. You bet it's an old letter. I feel like there's a lot of things Samuel in Nancy Clemens. that are just oh con gosh. too convenient. Where'd you get this? I found it in the From caboose. From Samuel Apparently Clemens. Apparently he and Jake were pen pals. Mark Twain. Wish I had a famous writer for a pen pal. Oh. Oh. The lively saloon where you and I first became acquainted. Now others... Uh, repeating that my... This is hard to read. That my Livy is wonderful company, but Carson City seemed like a different city this time. Its streets were clean, its citizens polite, and it's our lovingly gun smoke free. Um, ah, well, I used to. Stay put for a while anyway. Or I need to stay put for a while. What to name the hero of my neat book continues to befuddle me. Livy is partial to Boysenberry something, but I'm not sold. Ideas appreciated. Hmm. When Joe gave it to me, I about flipped. 
I know I should turn it over to Lori, and I will, but it's just so darn cool. <laughs> I still don't see what the big deal is. I mean, it's not like it's from Mark Twain or anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> see you later. Oh, Joe. You know where to find us. All right. Did Nancy write that down? She did. Okay, but I'm going to write it down better. Okay. Do we have all of them now? No, we don't have the one from Tino. Can we get it from him now? Hi, Bug. Welcome. You'll be popping in and out? Sounds good. Alright, Tino. You missed the, um... Oh yeah, we can check out the train now because they're gone. You missed the lizard game. We got to play the lizard game. All right, I think we have all of them now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We do. Awesome. I don't think there's anything else on his desk that we can look at. No. Um, but let's check out John Gray's room. And we also have paper to do the rubbings. Oh, he's here. I thought he left. What's up? I hear Tino took you and Lori for a little hike today. Don't remind me. Turns out Tino had no idea where he was going. Good thing for him, my fingers were frozen stiff. Otherwise, I would have strangled him. <laughs> well, I'll catch you later. Come back anytime. You'll have to check out the lizard game later. Yeah. We actually got it pretty quick. Can we do I this? I moved yet? my microphones, so if you want to play the piano, oh, knock yourself awesome. out. Oh, awesome. Okay. Thank you. All right. I also made note of this last time. So, GG. EG. A G E E D F E D C A spyglass. Nice. I'll bet it's the one I need for Jake's projector. How did he get that equipment in there? Yeah, good question. Good question. Nancy Magic. Yeah, that seems pretty big to fit through this door. I don't know. <laughs> um, we still can't open that yet. It's locked. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to put this down. Okay, uh, we got the spyglass, we got the pickaxe, we have all the gems. Let's do the rubbings before we do that, though. That's not the pencil. Oh, I don't get to actually do it myself. That's unfortunate. All right, so we did that one. Let's do this one. Be 
eternity and purity. Oh, wait. No, okay. I thought I had to see something else too. And this one. Wisdom, charity, purity, eternity. have to find those which I believe are in the train so back to the train oh but we need to find out from the book I think Wisdom, 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 wisdom is the owl. Eternity is the crown. Charity is the dove. And purity is the heart. All right, some of these I have written down already. So the owl is seven. The crown is six. I don't think I have the other two. So let's go see what those are. This music is so like intense in but like a peaceful, intense way. Dove, dove would be nine and the harp is three okay she's not only a detective she's also a witch I'm sure we can all agree that Nancy's a Slytherin yeah or would she be a Ravenclaw because she's so smart And she loves puzzles. She's a slither claw. All right. Um. Wait, I wanted to do the other thing first. Hang on. Hang on. One second. Okay, so it's this one, this one, okay, got it, got it, all right, but I need to hold it. Okay, so seven, nine, six, three. Yes. More pipes. pipes. Why am I not surprised? I like the pipes, Nance. Calm down. Oh. 
Wait. How do... Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. That should do it. Got it. Definitely Slither Claw. If I can be a Slither Puff, she can be a Slither Claw. Okay. So. Now we can do the other stuff. Is it this way? It is. Let's go. Okay, so. Pickaxe. And then we have. We don't have the lamp yet. But we. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. Okay, looks like that goes there. There's still water in it, which means it must be out of carbide. Don't worry, Nance. We got carbide. Okay. Oh, it just sits right there? Okay. There. It should work now. Okay. And then... Alright, let me get my notes. Let me get my notes. So... This looks like a soft arm ensnared. Because it's like an octopus arm. So this would be the tourmaline, which is this one. Can I? Okay. Then we have a horse hoof, um, which would be peridot. Now we have a starfish. Um, star, the eye of the tiger. Okay. You can definitely see that. You're pretty sure she's a vampire, though. <laughs> Nancy? Let's see. This is like a talon. Fingers that scar, maybe? Because they're sharp. Uh, zircon. What was zircon? I think it's the yellow one. Yeah. And then... This is the hand from the deep. And we know that because of the fish thing. Okay. And then this has got to be the foul mouth. Whoa. Looks like I did something right. Oh. Pretty sure the eye of the tiger goes with the will of the fight. And <laughs> the challenge of our rival. Oh, the thrill of the fight. Yep. You're correct. You got it. All right, so let's get this going. But it's gonna oh, no. break. What I need is some duct tape. Where are we gonna find duct tape? Who has duct tape? Uh, Lori, do you have some duct tape? Since you're right here. It's the eye of the tiger. It's yes? the thrill of the fight. Do you know if there's any duct tape around here? Duct tape? Duct tape. Nope, afraid not. <laughs> Sorry. I hear Tino took you and John on a trek to Jake's mine. Jake's mine, my eye. We went tramping through the snow, lugging all this equipment John insisted on bringing, and where do we end up? At this teeny tiny, half rotten, tumbled down outhouse. He <laughs> led you to an outhouse? Well, he said it was the opening to a mine shaft, but then John said if it was, shouldn't the hole be going into the mountain instead of just down? So they stood there arguing until Tino finally <laughs> a grabbed point. a shovel, went inside, and started digging. What he found was definitely not gold. Uh, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Way to go, Nancy. That was, for, that was in Fatima's family for decades. Yeah, Nancy, why'd you go and break it? What did John say? He called Tino a moron and a whole lot of other things I'd rather not repeat. We'll talk some more later. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. Okay. All right, so we're done in here. Uh, we need some duct tape.
I feel like John Gray would have some duct tape. What's going on? So, how did your expedition to Jake's mine turn out? Well, as you may or may not have heard, I didn't find the mine. But at least now I know where it isn't, which is just as good as knowing where it is. Sort of. I guess. Do you by yeah. any chance have any Rule duct tape? The, uh, duct tape. Sure Rule not. The but there was this one case at works where duct tape came in real handy. See, I had just collared this. I'm kind of in a hurry, Mr. Barbucci. <laughs> oh. Aww. Maybe some other time. Poor Tino. Oh, and I think we have all the pipes uh, together, so we could probably turn the wheel now, too. Got What's some up? duct tape. Would you by any chance have any duct tape? Right, Got one down, right 10,000 to go. That's the good news. The bad news is, I can't open the box. Ah. It's an antique lockbox. Oh, right now, okay. Abandoned monastery Got it. I scoped out on my show last year. You can open it with either the key, which I just discovered I forgot to bring with me, <laughs> or the combination, which you're supposed to be able to figure out just by looking at the box. Fortunately, I didn't put anything critical in there. I've never tried to open it without the key, but if you want that duct tape, go ahead and get it. Why would shot. you put duct tape in there? Thanks. I think I will. If you get it open, the duct tape's all yours. I bet the animals should start from the left shore. Okay. Um, well, this would be the beginning, right? And then... Um, okay, so if he takes the cat first... And then... He leaves the cat there and then he comes back for the other two so he takes the wolf first and then he takes the cat back leaves the cat takes the peacock Then takes the cat, then this. No? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. So this is definitely first. Um... Okay, so he takes the cat. Leaves the cat. Then the other two are left. Dog first. Oh wait, but the dog wasn't there yet, so that's... Oh, that's not... Okay. Sorry, it looked like it was colored in. It's kind of dark. Um, okay, so he takes the dog. Or the wolf. Then takes the cat back, leaves the wolf. Um, leaves the cat, takes the peacock. Then this, then this. It makes sense. Right? No? Hmm. Takes the cat. Unless, no. I was going to say, unless this one's first, like he takes the cat first. But, I mean, this has to be first. 
it only makes sense. Um, all right, so he comes back, takes the wolf, leaves the peacock for last. Um, leaves the wolf, takes the cat back. Then he takes the peacock, leaves the cat. Then we're here. Then he takes the cat. Okay. All right. We got it. We got it. <laughs> All right. So we have the duct tape. But let's see what happens when we turn the wheel to the pipes. Oh, that oh. doesn't look good. So we don't have them all yet. Okay. Um, but we have the duct tape now. Which pipes haven't we done? I feel like we've done them all. Or maybe we have to wait till we do this. Come on. There. Good as new. Oh, sorta. Ugh. Nothing happened. Hmm. This contraption is obviously powered by something, but what? Those look like steam pipes. Do I have to turn it now? Am I missing something? Oh, this. No. It's got to be the, the wheel. Right? Powered by something. Yeah, by steam. Alright, let's, let's try it again. Because we definitely did all the pipes. We definitely did. More questions? You didn't go on Tino's expedition to Jake's mine? Please. The man barely knows where his head is. If he's the one who finds that mine, I'll eat my laptop. I'll let you get back to your writing. <laughs> my publisher I hope he finds you. the mine. Hey, how's it going? See you later. If you need anything, just let us know. Should we try calling Bess? We haven't called Bess in a while. Hi, Bess. Hey, Nance. Listen, I'm dying to know. What's it like to finally work with Frank and Joe Hardy? Oh, Bess, you're <sighs> incorrigible. Hey, if you don't want to hear, just go over there and don't listen. She's listening. So what's it like? Um... Well, Frank is serious and methodical, while Joe is kind of... A little bit crunch that laptop. They're not trying to boss you around and be all manly all the time? No, not at all. They're great. George has a thing for Frank. Well, you like Joe, but the real question here is, which one does Nancy like? Oh. Yeah, which one do you like? Oh. Hmm. Are we supposed to say Ned? That's the question. What do we think?
It probably doesn't matter. Neither. I like Ned, remember? Oh, yeah. Ned. <laughs> Good old, dependable Ned. You think he's boring, don't you, Bess? You think I think he's boring? Hey, I think what you think is much more important than what I think. Translation? She thinks he's boring. <laughs> oh. John Gray claims to have Camille's voice on tape. He'll be in trouble with Ned. I heard a woman singing, <laughs> but it was very faint. You heard an actual ghost? Bess, whatever I heard was barely audible. For all I know, it could have been a voice off the radio or something. Did the real Camille like to sing? According to Charlena, she did. Well, there you go. You heard a ghost. Oh, Bess, you are so gullible. Open my Gullible. <laughs> Charlena and Lori had this big, huge argument, and you'll never guess why. Uh, Lori called Charlena a hack. No. Uh, Charlena called Lori an airhead. No. Um, Bess, she doesn't really want you to guess, okay? Tell us, man. Well, it seems that Lori sent Charlena a bunch of story ideas, one of which Charlena used in her latest book without telling or paying Lori. Charlena stole something Lori wrote? That's incredible. No, the fact that Lori wrote something that Charlena thought was worth stealing. <laughs> that's incredible. Ooh. I agree with both of these. It makes me think that Lori may not be quite as dumb as she looks. Yeah, better keep an eye on her, Nan. I went inside the crypt where Jake buried his wife, Camille. There? As far as I know. Did you see her? No, she was kind enough to stay in her coffin. <laughs> was it like totally gross and creepy in there? Yes, I couldn't wait to leave. Any idea how she died? Frank told me that he overheard the grandson of Jake's engineer say she died after she fell and hit her head. Did she fall? Or did Jake, you know, give her a little push? Oh my the guy God. who takes care <laughs> of the cemetery says he can tell from the way he buried her that Jake must have loved Camille a lot. Ah, but did he love her? Or did he just have a guilty conscience? That's oh my question. goodness. I'll talk to you guys later. Remember, when in doubt, Pinky off. out. Oh. Alright. Um... Uh-oh. That Have we doesn't not look good. What pipes are we missing? What pipes are we missing? Oh, we still have to... We still need to get the eagle. That's right. All right. And we did get some slugs. So let's see what we can do here. And we still need to do the bell. What is the bell? Do we care about the bell? Do we need the bell? I don't know if we actually need the bell, but we definitely need the eagle. The eagle is two. Got it. You know what I could really go for? I'm like super thirsty. I so want a milkshake. I haven't had a milkshake in forever. Where am I going? And naturally we have still <laughs> more pipes. Yes. Oh, okay. Hmm. There, that looks right. There. Is that the last pipes? Can I turn the wheel now? Sounds like steam okay. from the engine is moving through those pipes now. Got it. 
all the way back. We're almost there. Well, sort of. We still have a bit more left. Green means go. And we have liftoff. This is crazy. If I was Lori, I would be bursting into this room right now, being like, what is going on? Where Jake's mine is? Brimstone Canyon. Let's go. Don't you look all excited? What's up? I think I know where Jake's like mine is. Like you didn't is. just hear that. Tell the engineer to head for a place in Nevada called Brimstone Canyon. Way to go. I knew you could do it, Francie. Francie. Not Francie. Nancy. Francie. Here's the deal. When we get there, I'm going to make sure that you get to be the first one to check out the mine. I'll call everyone together in the dining car, and while we're in there, you slip off the train. Will ten minutes be enough of a head start? Uh, you don't have to give me a head start. That'd be great. Think of it as your reward. Of course, anything you find in the mine is, well, mine. So <laughs> if I find out that you've taken something without telling me, let's just say things could get ugly. Ugly. I wouldn't get your hopes up too high. The mine might be totally worthless, you know. I know, but I have the feeling that thanks to you, we are about to discover something huge. Great job, Amy. Oh, goodness. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All aboard. Canyons are so pretty out there, too. I want to go back. Sounds like the train's leaving. Where's it going? Well, Frank and Joe will make sure it comes back for me. I hope. Uh... Okay. Let's go. Straight it is. Cannon. These stupid puzzles. Nancy, back away. Back away. Nancy. Nancy. Whoa. Okay. All right. This is the entrance All to Jake's right. mind. All right. Let's go. Whoa, what's going on here? Jake's color wheel seems to be pointing toward purple. Okay. Wow, glowing lizards. Cool, but weird. So let's go to purple. Now it's pointing toward purple. It's still purple, Nancy. Red. Yellow. Is 
that yellow? Purple. Uh. We can only go one way. Tower of Terror, let's go! Alright, orange. Hey, look, a snake. I'm gonna make note of that. You know, just in case. Uh, still orange. Red. Red. I don't see any of the weird pictures. The other weird pictures. Yellow. Uh, okay. Green. Purple. Yellow. Oh, here's another weird picture. And there's another one right uh -oh. ahead. There's some kind of chamber on the other side of those poles. But if I move the wrong one, the ceiling will collapse. Jake was too meticulous not to have left a clue somewhere as to how you're supposed to move them. I only saw this one. Uh-oh. I only saw that one. Beautiful pictures. These different color lizards just stay in the same place all these years. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like we have to go back. Let's start at the very beginning. Um, I don't know how to get back. Oh, here's one. This is right after the snake. It's like a rocking chair. Okay. I wonder what that's doing there. I wonder. Um, I haven't seen any more yet. Okay, so we're at the beginning. Is there anything here? I don't see anything. Okay. So, I mean, what if we go the wrong way? Oh, look at this. Another symbol. So red. What if we just look around? No, okay. Oh, there's one over here. So here's the snake. Uh, 
And then we have the rocking chair. Okay, I hope I'm getting this in the right order. Wait, do I need to go this way? Red. I still haven't seen anything yellow. Okay, yeah, this is the way. This is the way. Um, green. Oh. Interesting. Don't want to be on that track. Alright, so purple. The game's like, finally, she moved. And then we have this. Okay. So I only saw... One... One, two, three, four, five. And hopefully I got them in the right order. They could be stuffed for all we know. Yeah, they could be. They could be. All right, so this is the first I've one seen I that saw. Symbol before. I think they made a boo boo. Oh my God! So there's one before that. I really don't want to have to go all the way back to find out. Hang on, let me save it again. I feel like I haven't saved in a while. All right. It's mine. Okay. Um, there's something that tells you the order. There's something that tells me the order. These rocks. Because I found some of them. Uh, can I call someone? Can I... Uh... The four words that I found translate to numbers. Oh yeah, we knew that. The words stood out. Um, the letter maybe? Projector. Dolls. No. Well, I'm assuming this one's the last, right? It looks like this one's first. Uh -oh. Or not. I don't want to spoil. You can find out how to do the order. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can figure it out. 
Um... Wait. Wait. The snake isn't on here, but... Wait. Cause like... Are these numbers? This looks like seven. This looks like five. Some of them are not um, symmetrical though. So I don't know if that theory is just not right. <laughs> Could be totally wrong. Like, is this one? I think I made a boo boo. Okay, stop. Okay. Okay. Second chance. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing we're going to have to go back. If there's something that tells us. Because I don't think I have anything in my notes about this. No. Have I not looked at everything? I can't go up there. Or there. Alright. Um, let's explore. And see what we can find. What happens if we go this way? Nothing. Okay. Fine. Do we want to go down or do we want to go up? I don't remember. <laughs> Is this like further down? This looks like a cactus. Oh my god. Have I not been here? Alright, well. Okay. Is there anything else down here? No? Okay, back up I guess. can see. Alright, so here's a bunch of places. And we came from yellow. So we came from there, right? No. This is green. So this is another one. Okay. Jake must have made those symbols. Oh. The question is, why? Oh no, I don't know which one's which. All right, well I know. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> so cactus is first. Cactus was uh, the Z looking thing. I think. 
Um, this is... What is this? This is fire. So this is second. So this is this thing. Okay. Three is the snake, which is the chair thing. The rocking chair. Um, what is that? Fish. Oh yeah, I remember seeing the fish. And then bats. Okay, so we have the first three, um, but I'm not sure on the second three. So we're gonna have to explore some more. Or again, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, maybe you like the exploring. <laughs> All right, so what is this? Whoa! Oh, we didn't wanna do that, or did we? <gasps> What is this? I can't get through here. I can't get through here. I can't get okay. through here. Oh, we're at the beginning. Okay. Okay. So this is fish. This is fish. All right, so fish is five. Makes sense. Okay. So we have the J and the bat. I mean the... I think I know. Did I mess something up? Can you guys still hear me? I think by process of elimination, I can figure this out now. So. Oh, this is the <laughs> Purple. Red. Yellow. And we want to go down. This is bats. This is bats. Green, purple, yellow. Okay, so let's see if I have this correct. So first, I think is okay, this. Okay, so far so good. Second, I think is this. Third, Rocking chair. Then this. I think I made a boo boo. Darn it! It's okay. At least we know what we're doing now. Um. So it might be this next. Okay. And then. This, and then this. I should be able to get through there okay. now. Okay. Got it. Jake oh. Hurley, I presume? Oh. So creepy.
Camille. It figures he'd be carrying a picture of who her. Who do you think is the bad guy? I actually mm, know who the bad guy is. Underneath it. I won't spoil it, um, since I think some people watching don't know who it is, but I do already know who it is. Jake Hurley, care of Postmaster Denver Territory of Colorado. Looks like a letter. April 14th, 1865. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's read this. April 14th, 1865. My dear friend Jake. Believe me, Jake, my boy, I can think of nothing more pleasant than touring the West aboard, oh, the West, aboard your private train. But much as I would like to accept your invitation, the duties and responsibilities of my office forbid it. I cannot leave Washington until this terrible war is over and the states are united once more. Your humble friend, Abe. I would scarcely leave my office at all these days were it not for Mary. Tonight, at her insistence, I will be accompanying her to the Floor Theater to see a comedy called Our American Cousin. Have you seen it? Mary assures me that I'll enjoy it despite the fact that for some strange reason I've never felt at ease when at the theater. Perhaps tonight will be different. Write to me soon, your miss... What does that say? Your missives miss missiles i can't read <laughs> you never fail to boost my spirits your humble friend abe, oh abe lincoln this is from abraham lincoln and april 14th is a day he was assassinated this letter must be worth a fortune that's just what i thought too See, what I didn't tell you when I gave you that letter Jake wrote to Ruth is that I also found his diary, which is how I found out he'd gotten to be friends with President Lincoln, and that he'd gotten a letter from Abe that he knew would be so valuable someday that he always kept it on his person. Can I have it? Can I have it? Sure. <laughs> See, I knew if we could just find Jake's body, sure. we'd find the letter. And you did it, Amy. You did it. I'm going to be famous. He had a Good nice famous for once. Nice life. So you never really cared about finding Jake's mind? Nah. I mean, it would have been nice if it was filled with gold and silver and stuff. But this is what I was really after. And you followed me because you didn't trust me? I trusted you to find it. I just didn't trust you to give it to me. And now that you have... You know, I'd really, I have given really it to her. be famous if I could say I found this all by myself. But even if I got you to lie for me, how do I know you'd keep lying? Look at her face. Oh my gosh. What if there was like this cave-in and we were trapped, but I was the only one who made it out? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Oh my gosh! That way I could not only say that I found the letter, but that I tried to save you. Only you did something stupid, and it was all I could do to save myself. Oh my gosh! I'd make the national news for sure, and people would say I was smart and resourceful and courageous even. Why she back up like Lori, that? Lori, you can't be serious. That's crazy. Oh, she's you don't understand. Thing. People are finally going to respect me. I have to do this. Never trust Sorry. someone with a puffy vest. I like her puffy vest. No. No. Sorry. No. The opening's blocked. I'm, I'm trapped. trapped. Now how am I going to get out of here? Oh, Nance, you'll find a way. We haven't even Maybe explored Maybe I could get out of here in this. Yes. It's, it's Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Let's go. Uh oh. Quick times. Right, right. Can I quickly write this down? Just in case. Because I don't want to have to die and figure it out again. We are already in the fun part of the ride. <laughs> the 
this one's much more thrilling, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well lit cave, yeah. Nancy! Is everything okay? It is now. As soon as we discovered you and Lori Look weren't on the train, we jumped off and hightailed it back here. What the heck's going on? I'm sure Lori will be glad to tell you all about it. Darn you, Natalie! It's Darn. Nancy. Dear Hannah, some host as ah, Lori Gerard ah. turned out to be. When her father heard that she'd tried to seal me up in that mine, he canceled all her credit cards and said that from now on, Lori will have to support herself. She has yet to stop crying. Tino Balducci told reporters that he knew what Lori was up to all along and said he let Frank, Joe, and me solve the case so we amateurs could enjoy his limelight. Joe was just about to belt him when a big argument broke out between John Gray and Charlene over cool. whether John had really recorded Camille's ghost. <laughs> she started calling him a crackpot, and then he started calling her a hack. Then, well, let's just say that soon the press was no longer interested in what Tino had to say. <laughs> As for Jake Hurley, it turns out that his letter from Abe Lincoln is worth a small fortune. Pretty ironic, huh? Jake spent his whole life searching for gold, when all along he possessed something far more valuable. His uncanny knack for making Aww. friends. Love, Nancy. Hey, sassy detective. Congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of... Hello Dolly Award for rearranging the dolls in no time flat. Hello Dolly. Have you ever been to Paris, France? Well, preparez-vous oh. because that's where my next mystery adventure takes came place. Back and we're I'm done. going to be the assistant to Minette, a famous fashion designer. Oh. I'll be working undercover to Danger find out why she's design. been acting so peculiar lately, throwing tantrums, firing people. She's even started wearing a mask for no apparent reason. Her studio is in this spooky-looking centuries-old moulin. That's French for windmill. Of course, that doesn't have anything to do with her strange behavior. Or does it? Only one way to find out. Help me solve my next case. Danger by design. A la prochaine! Ooh, this is some intense... This is like the mind music. Ugh. Oh. I'm so glad we got to finish this one today. I was I was hoping we would. I thought it was gonna take longer, actually, um, especially the mine part, because for some reason I remember the mine part being harder. Um, but it was fun. That one, that one's fun. I like that one. Um, and Danger by Design, the next one is gonna be fun too. You remember this one? My favorite part about um, Danger by Design or one of my favorite parts, is that we get to bake cookies in it. <laughs> I love any Nancy game where we get to like cook or bake something. Um, I think it's so cool. <laughs> it's like real life, it's like Sims, um, but Nancy Drew, <laughs> which I like, it's fun. Um, I was gonna uh, stream for a bit longer, but since we finished early, um, I might just end it here. Um, but I have a few other things that I want to do today. Um, but I'm super excited, and I'm so glad that all of you could make it and enjoy uh, the ending with me and experience that. Um, I hope you'll join me on the next one. Um, if you're new here, uh, I started playing the game, um, or the series rather, in order from first to the last. Literally, I did the first one and then the last one. But we're going in order um, after that, like one, two, three, four. Um, this one is number 13. So we'll do number 14 next. There's like 33 or 34 of them in all. Um, you can check out my past ones on YouTube. If you look um, at the words above my head here, um, that's my YouTube channel, Coley's Corner. 
um, yeah, thanks so much, and I hope you guys join next time. Um, next weekend, I might not be streaming on Saturday. Um, I might stream on Friday instead. Friday or Sunday, probably Friday, depending. Um, so hopefully you can join me then where we start Danger by Design. Um, super exciting. But yeah, thank you for coming. And um, I forgot to mention this uh, last stream or the stream before, um, but we hit 30 followers, which is absolutely crazy to me. Um, it makes me happy because I think that's so cool that that many people um, enjoy experiencing the games with me. Um, so thank you so much. Um, the last person who followed was Andy Lover. Fellow, literally fellow ND lover. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, um, everyone who's followed. Um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, thank you guys, and I will catch you next time. Bye!